Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Well, today we're going to look at Psalm 109. So if you have your Bibles, why don't you turn to Psalm 109 with me? And while you're doing that, let me just say uh, Happy New Year. And I hope that you had a great Christmas. I had a wonderful break. Um, it's been a, a good time being off and visiting with family and friends and, you know, all the holiday stuff that we do. So it's been great. I hope that you're ready to get back into some regular five-minute Bible study with me here on Daily Dose Radio. And we're going to start off the new year with Psalm 109. We're going to do this in two parts. This psalm is, let me see how long it's, it's 20, you know, it's 31 verses. So we're going to divide this one in half. And this is an important psalm because portions of this psalm appear in the New Testament. And this psalm relates very directly to the passion of Christ. So we're going to talk about his suffering and how it relates to the psalm. And, of course, you know, where where it appears in the New Testament, we'll talk about that. We're going to talk more generally about the wicked and what they're you know, what their demise is. Now, let me just frame that portion of it with the beginning and the beginning of the Psalms, Psalm 9 and 10, we have the definition of the wicked. Here, we're going to talk about the end result or the destination of the wicked. What are they headed towards? So we'll talk about that in this Psalm as well. So there's a lot here that we're going to try to cram in in two weeks with this Psalm. So today we're just going to read verses 1, 2, and 3. Hold not thy peace, O God of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are open against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. They compass me about also with words of hatred. They fought against me without a cause. Now that reminds us of many things, doesn't it? You'll notice that he begins with, Hold not thy peace, O God of my praise. This is a psalm of, or this is to the choir master, a psalm of David. So we know David is speaking here. As soon as we get into the psalm, we realize that he's speaking not so much about himself necessarily. It could be, I'm sure that David is thinking of men who have spoken against him, but you know it comes over as prophetic because of what happens to his son Messiah, Jesus. So he says, hold not thy peace. He wants God to speak. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the the deceitful are open against me. So he wants God to open his mouth because the wicked and the deceitful have opened their mouth. And of course, we know that in the Psalms, the most damaging weapon is is the mouth. It's the words, it's the tongue. It's how we use those things. And here we have the wicked and the deceitful. What are they saying? They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. Now, remember, as I said, this reminds us of the passion of Christ. Remember what happened to him at the trial when he was taken before Caiaphas. And there we had, in Matthew 26, 60, we have false witnesses brought in against him. And what did they do? They lied. And they lied and they couldn't agree together about their lie. And so their testimony was false because it had, it's in the mouth of two or three witnesses that every fact shall be established. And, of course, the Jews were depending upon that, but they couldn't get anybody to establish a fact because they disagreed on everything. But they were lying about everything that they said. So this points us back to the passion of Christ. They compassed me about with words of hatred and fought against me without a cause. That points us to the cross of Christ. Remember Psalm 22 prophesied about this. Here we have it again in Psalm 109, and if we look forward into the New Testament, we see at the cross, what are the Pharisees and the religious leaders doing? They're cursing Christ while he's on the cross. So with words of hatred, they come past him. All right, well, join me again tomorrow, and we will look at verses 4, 5, and 6 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.